Here's what else it's busy with. Sabotaging a COVID-19 vaccine, preventing a Western vaccine to come out. That's the latest allegation from the US. These allegations are neither new nor unexpected. China wants to win the vaccine race and it will do it by hook or by crook. Here's a report. There is one word to describe China in the fight against the pandemic. Saboteur. First, China hid the virus outbreak. And now China is sabotaging vaccine research because China wants to own it. Fighting the pandemic is not a business enterprise or a political tool to secure global influence. But U.S. Republican Senator Rick Scott believes China will do anything to dominate the world. He fears if China finds the vaccine first, it will not share it with the world. We have evidence that what they're trying to do is sabotage or slow down our ability to get this vaccine done. Uh, it, it's, it's really important that this, we got we're we're going to open up our economy, but we're going to really open our economy when pe everybody says, "Hey, look, I can get a vaccine, and I know there's therapeutics that I'm not going to die." Right? Those are the two things. And China does not want us, England, any Europe. They don't want us to do it first. They've decided to be an adversary to Americans and I think to democracy around the world. And this is just one evidence of that. Did Senator Rick Scott's warning of Chinese sabotage come out of the blue? No. On the 13th of May, two of America's premier intelligence agencies, the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the Department of Homeland Security, released a public warning. Chinese hackers are stealing coronavirus research from the United States. They said, from hospital labs to university research centers, everybody involved in finding a vaccine is under potential threat of cyber attacks. As usual, China hit back, calling it a smear campaign. The state-run Global Times said, China is leading vaccine research. There is no need to steal. Plus, it has access to WHO trials. The World Health Organization is conducting global solidarity trials. 100 countries are participating. America isn't one of them. Trump has pulled out funding, while China has moved in, consolidating its position further. Currently, there are at least 10 vaccines in human trials, six of those in China alone, followed by the United States, which has two vaccines. The Oxford University study in the UK is close, but China may win the vaccine race and promises to share it with the world. When a Chinese vaccine is ready for application, after research and development and clinical tests, we will implement the commitment made by Chinese President Xi Jinping at the 73rd World Health Assembly, providing the vaccine to the world as global public goods. The key words are when a Chinese vaccine is ready. So until that happens, China is unlikely to allow any country to succeed in this effort. First, China exported death, over 7 million people infected, over 400,000 people dead. Now it wants monopoly over life. Can China be trusted to act generously? The evidence so far points to the contrary. Viewer report, we own. World is one.